It's very sad to hear what they think it means to be a black male or a black female. Thug. Ghetto. Gangs. Loose. It's really, really difficult for me to see that. Every year it was the same thing. I would go home and cry and I would say, wow, my work is cut out for me. This is, you know, kind of their perceptions coming into the course of what it means to be black. Thieves. Poor. Drop out. How can they aspire to reach their full potential if they view themselves in such a negative light? Morning, Nick. The goal uh, for students is to learn about African history and to learn more about African Canadian history as well. In our courses, we never really talk about it. I didn't know how deep the history was actually going to be. So I take them back and we go through ancient Egypt. We explore uh, several African empires. Just taking them back and really showing, hey, in your DNA is, is this knowledge, this wisdom from these people. To actually figure out that black people had a huge involvement in a lot of the basics to civilization now was kind of really empowering for me. So for this activity, students had to use the slave trade database online. I mean, there's a lot of description here. Tara, 26 years old. Just the words, I mean, yeah. hungry, worried, weak. Will, Will I ever, I ever see, see my, my family, family again? again? Will I die? The students were essentially giving back some humanity and some identity to those who were aboard the slave ships. Number two, construction battalion, okay? It did amazing things uh, and did some things that, you know, aren't necessarily recognized in Canadian history. We don't get to learn about our history unless it's in this class. So this is a, you know, a major, you know, general, general chief of staff, something you would have mentioned in, you know, in April of 19, 1916. In France, in the firing line, there is no place for a black battalion. No white officer would accept an all-black platoon. What do you think about those comments? I kind of thought Canada was more of a neutral country and happy to have anybody, but we do have some bad past with the racism, and I was very surprised to hear what I did. And in the spring of 2011, Chantel was shocked to receive threats. They wrote some graffiti about me in the bathroom and then um, somebody wrote the n-word on my van and then there was also a letter sent to the school that threatened to kill um, black students. We had police presence. Um, my principal gave me her parking spot and I can't Part of me felt, am I putting these kids in danger because I'm so passionate? Is it, am I doing too much? Am I, you know, angering some students? Like, what's this all about? So it was hard. When I would sit and reflect, I thought, man, if I could only get that student in my class, I could change that student. Everyone has a story behind them. I honestly spread the stuff we learn. Like, I tell my friends about it. I tell my parents about it. I tell my siblings. I really want to encourage all my friends to take one of these classes. Their definition of who they are and what they can become and what they come from has completely changed. It makes me feel like I can be anybody I want, to be honest. I could be a lawyer like I wanted to be. I could do, like, I could just do whatever I want because it's not that I have to follow the stereotype anymore. It opens my eyes and shows me that just because that's what society puts upon us doesn't mean that we have to fit that standard and we can become more than that and that we are more than that. <laughs>